Action. Action. Oh, ah, you, you cheater. cheater. You cheater. Is fed and in his crate and crying. And That's all you get. Oh yeah, they're right here. Look! Oh my God, they're so tiny. They went over there on the other side of the boat. Wow, they're tinier, tinier than I thought. That looks like a giant fish. Dog who? What? Oh yeah, they're right here. Look. Oh my God, they're so tiny. They went over there. So exciting. Yeah, I got no, I got him. It's okay. No. <laughs> A little too exciting. Yeah. Excuse us. Hans, come back. Yes, you gotta be a good walking buddy. Oh, it's so good. We're leaving. Yeah. Oh, they had an indoor pool. Wow. Huh. No. Hans, wait. Hans, don't be rude. Sure, this is the best. Bronson, come here. Do it again. Bronson, Bronson. Down. Down. Oh, good boy. Army crawl. Gotta escape secretly as much as he can. <laughs> Feels much better than the yes, yes, Hans, come here. <laughs> so, 
What's your advice for pet parents considering whether they should take a cruise with their dog or pet or put them in the cargo under their plane? Uh, well, the cargo under the plane wasn't an option for us, right? So it would have been either putting him on a cargo plane, you know, just separate from us with a bunch of whatever goes on a cargo plane, or take him on the boat. Thank you. And obviously we went with the boat, right? And it's hard to say because the conditions for him were not good. He had to spend 12, 13 hours every night alone. Um, and like he pooped himself one night and had to spend a whole night in his poop. And like honestly that's like unacceptable that they don't have some means to make that not happen and we couldn't do anything about that. He just had to sleep in his poop for a night. And then like he had limited space and then his foot got infected I think from walking around on, you know, poop and pee all day. Ooh, what wet deck. Yeah, wet deck and, and all that. And you know, wet kennel, he there wasn't a lot of space in there. I think he got wet. We, you know, when we freed him in the morning, a lot of times he'd be wet. Like mentally, he seemed fine though. That's that's the thing that I always think about. Is he seemed mostly fine. He didn't seem like traumatized by going in the kennel. He went mostly willingly every time. He ate. Yeah, he ate. Pooped. He was happy to see us. He played. There's a lot of dogs who were way more nervous than he was. And it's hard to say because I think on a plane he would be way more nervous. The conditions are a lot different there than what he's used to. And so like what what I'm balanced in my mind is like, you know, eight hours, twelve hours of like scaredness or you know, a week of bad conditions. And I think ultimately where I landed is if he could go below the plane then that's what I would have opted for. But he couldn't. He couldn't on a transatlantic flight. So I think I think the boat was like the lesser of all evils. I still I, I don't know if I'd take my my chances putting him on a cargo plane. That, that that's still too hard for me to it's a hard pill to swallow. Now I, I think that they need to improve the conditions on the boat, right? Like it's not really acceptable what he had to go through. But still given that I would go with the boat.